this is the part that threw me off on this episode. I ain't gonna lie. The girl legacy went to the club with her wig braids. Look at Alan Iverson as hell. Like, why would you pop out and go to the club with your wig braids, sister? Look, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't gotta check the cost. Still independent, still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming out they draws. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Lucci flame hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act. I am not Don Cheeto. Slut a nigga out. Treat him like a free coat. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say What's up, Lucci gang? It's your girl, Lucci V. And welcome back to my channel. We are back. For another video, you guys, this is going to be Vlogmas Day 19. Oh, I'm so glad this is coming to an end, y'all, because dropping a video every single day is crazy. But anyways, you guys, this is going to be a recap of Now That's TV, new show, Young and Reckless. You guys were requesting this in my comments, and at first I was not going to watch the show, but I'm glad I did. So I'm going to be recapping um, episode one through three because... um. You know, it's on the third episode. So I'm just do a brief recap episode one through two, and then I'm gonna get into episode three. So if you would like to see my opinions and my recap of this episode, then stay tuned to this video right here. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding ding ding. And let's okay. So for you guys that do not know, Young and Reckless is a new show that's on now that's TV. It is hosted by Ferrari, who is a now that's TV cast member. She was previously on um big lex collection in i believe she may have been on another show too oh uh uh dement she was on two shows on out of tv um ferrari is kind of like a fan favorite i liked ferrari um and she has a show now called young and reckless and they are definitely getting young and reckless on there so since i missed recapping episodes one and two i'm gonna just do a brief little rundown um the girls come into the house and it's automatically chaos, you guys. There is a girl on there, Ivory, who was very popular on the other show, uh, South Central Baddies, you guys. And I really like her on South Central Baddies, but on Young and Reckless, I am not feeling Ivory on here. She is a complete bully. She putting her hands on people for no reason. She's just acting like a cage wow animal, you guys. But um, the first two episodes, it's immediately, boom, they tussling. Um, there's two girls from Chicago. Now that's TV. I got a bone to pick with y'all. Cause why y'all always casting the goofiest, doofiest girls from Chicago y'all can find? Like where the real hitters at? Cause these two girls from Chicago are just <sighs> what? All right, whatever. So basically, episode one and two. Um, it's a bunch of like just people attacking each other. Um, Ivory, Ivory. <sighs> kick a girl under a table a girl who wasn't even doing nothing to her who had no beef with her or nothing just <sighs> episode one and two was just a hot mess it was just a hot mess y'all like just go watch I'm like okay but i got my notes here for episode three um they also have this girl naj million who is very popular on some of the other shows on now there's tv and i like her on the other shows but i'm not feeling her on here either like, I really feel like some of the fan favorites are going to lose a lot of fans by being on this show. It's like, it's kind of like they're starting to feel themselves or something. I don't know, but I'm not liking it. But okay, y'all, let's go ahead and start recapping episode three because I, it's been some days since I didn't watch episodes one and two, y'all. So I don't remember all the details, but I do remember this though. Big Bully Ivory was trying to bully everybody and that girl, cat. yeah, she wasn't going. She got up there with Big Ivory. Yeah okay um yeah okay let's go ahead and get into it so um <laughs> it's so funny you guys because the first thing in my notes says ivory is unhinged they need to send her to a hotel immediately okay so yeah the episode um starts with them trying to send ivory to a hotel because she's like i said she's just been attacking everybody she can't calm down she can't sit down nothing so they want to send her to a hotel and she like no nah. Y'all can't send me to no hotel. If y'all want to send me to a hotel, send me home. And I'm just like, girl, like, they might need to send you home, sister, because you're acting like a, a wild animal. Like, you need to calm down. Um, There's a girl on there. I believe her name is Charmaine. Um, She had her wig ripped in half by Ivory because I guess Ivory thought it was somebody else's wig. And the girl Charmaine do not want to stand on business 
for her wig because she's scared of average. She could say, I don't care. I'm not going to. Now, if anybody else in that house would have ripped the girl Charmaine wig, she would have tried to run up on them. But she's so like, why are y'all that scared of Ivory? Like, what is the worst that could happen with some fish? I was not like she in there with a pow pow. It's not like she got some weapons. Like, y'all scared to like catch a fae? Like, what's the worst that could happen to y'all? Like, you going to be embarrassed? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> so... Um, we have some new cast members enter on this episode three. There's a girl named KP and there's a girl named Melanie Fox. My initial reactions to KP, I thought she was very pretty. I could tell she was a little like dingy, ditzy or whatever, but very beautiful girl. Um, then we have Miss Melanie Fox. She's a Midwest girl. Initial um, reactions to her, I thought she was very pretty. I thought she had some nice, you know what I'm saying? She got them jugs on her. Um, and she seemed like she would be cool, like, she seemed like she would be cool, but we'll get into that. Um, so far, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys my fave. You guys know I really don't like to pick a favorite until we like at least like five or so episodes in. We're on episode three. And I'm going to just say my initial favorite right now, which could change. My initial favorite right now is Ferragamo. I just think she's really pretty. I like her tattoos. I like that she really kind of chill and stay out the drama until it comes to her and then she stand on business. So, so far, I like Miss Ferragamo. Um, so we get to a scene where Kai, which I mentioned earlier in the video, Ivory kind of tried to bully Kai and the whole thing with her and Kai tussling was like really unneeded because Kai did nothing to Ivory at all. Ivory mistakenly thought Kai was someone else and just came out of nowhere and attacked Kai, but Kai was not no punk, baby. She, she threw them hands with big Ivory and caught big Ivory off guard. Like, hold on. Yeah, so we get to a scene on this episode where we have Kai basically like confronting Avery like, hey, you had the wrong girl. I'm not that girl. Avery does not care. And she just like basically like, okay, do you want to tussle again? And I'm just like, Avery needs to sign up for a MMA or so, I don't, she needs to take a karate class or something like she need to go do that like. She need to go do something where all you doing is tussling all day, baby. Like, cause for real, like, I don't, why, why would that make you want to tussle again? Cause the girl telling you that you had the wrong person. I'm confused, but you guys, I ain't gonna lie. This round, my girl Kai got flipped and, and towed down a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's, 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 Cat ain't cat ain't do her big one this round, but it's okay though, cause my my girl not scary, so it's okay, it's okay. Um, so then we get to a scene where Ferrari, you know, I told you guys she's the host. Ferrari tells the girls like, "Hey, everybody, come give me a little lap dance to Yana. Whoever does the best, you get three hundred dollars." So the girls are taking turns doing this. The new girl that came in, KP, came in. She did her little thing, whatever, and I guess some girls were booing her. Um, so when she was done, she went and said, oh, let me pick up my Christian Dior slash for you hating, you know, hating H words or whatever. So apparently uh, the girl Cass is the one who was booing her. Um, but the girl Melanie, um, the new other new girl, Melanie Fox was like, who, who's a hater? And the girl KP started getting smart with her or whatever. So they started exchanging words. But it was just like, I just thought that was weird that like you had that much energy because she said, who's the hater? But, like, why you ain't just keep bugging up on the girl who was actually booing you? I don't know. I just felt like put a name on it. Like, because, uh, I don't know. That was just weird. Like, she had the energy for the wrong person. Um, So, now it's time to go to the club. This is after all the tussles didn't happen and all that. Like, what is up with all these shows? Having the girls go to the club right after they get their wigs snatched off and tussling, baby. I don't get it. But now it's time to go to the club, y'all. This is the part that threw me off on this episode. I ain't gonna lie. The girl legacy went to the club with her wig braids. Look at Alan Iverson as hell. Like, why would you pop out and go to the club with your wig braids, sister? Like, that that was... Why would you go to the club? She tried to pull some little baby hairs out and just was, boom, I'm outside. Little Romeo. Like, <laughs> girl. Okay, so now they are at the club. They're having a great time. And what I do like about this show as opposed to 
um, like South Central Baddies and some of the other shows on there is we got to actually see them go outside and be in the club and just not be in the house. Like that is what I did like. Now it seemed like everybody was having a good old time until one of the Chicago girls, Miss Crystal. Now keep in mind, you guys, on the first episode, uh, or going to, first episode going into the second episode, Miss Crystal got into a tussle. She ran up and attacked one of the other girls from Chicago. And Miss Crystal ran up and got flipped and ended up on the ground. Like Miss Crystal ran up and did not do her big one. So I guess she felt the type of way in the club once she got the liquor in her system. She let Ivory put the battery in her back. Like she keeps like, I don't know. It seemed like the Chicago girl Crystal, like she just really wants to be accepted. She really wants to fit in so, so bad. So she keeps letting Ivory put this battery in her back and like tell her what to do. So everybody having a great old time, grand old time. The girl Crystal decides to go and throw a drink at the girl Adriana, who was also from Chicago that already had put her on her previously in the house why you keep messing with this girl that already flipped you sister hang it up flat screen like you heard Nicki Minaj like girl why do you keep messing with somebody that already showed you they are not to be played with you keep letting big ivory gas you up punks jump up to get beat down like come on now stop playing so she throw the drink on her. Like Adriana really tries to keep her cool while they're inside the club. When they get outside the club, though, she basically just like, you know, when we get home, we can get it cracking. Ferrari says, uh-uh, we young and reckless. We doing this right here in the parking lot. Y'all, the girl Crystal runs up again just to end up on the ground. Like, she is a goofy. She is so embarrassing for Chicago. Like, delete her off the cast, man. Like, she is finna blow me. Like, for real, like, I don't understand how you keep... And then she also made me mad. I ain't gonna lie. She had on this little lace, little sheer outfit, woo-woo, like, with some gym shoes. Why you Why you do that, sister? Why you wear gym shoes with that? Like, you got on a sexy little lingerie-looking outfit with some gym shoes. Like, you looking club at the top, physical education at the bottom. Like, What? I'm a diva at the top. I want to go play tennis at the bottom. Like, why you, why you, okay, whatever. So, the girl Adriana knocked her on her ass again. Now, I ain't gonna lie. This time, Crystal did get up and try to, you know, redeem herself. But it's like, you already look like a goofy, okay? Um, Ivory talk about, you got to get her when we get in the house. Now, you can't just let, you keep disappointing me. And the girl Crystal, like, yeah, I got to. Crystal. Why you keep letting this girl put a battery in your back? Like, you don't have a mind of your own. You can't think for yourself. You can't decide. She making me mad on here. I, I want her to go home. Kick her off. Send her home, Ferrari, please. Um, Now, the girl, Adriana, she irritated me too, though, because she trying to act like she just also gangster from Chicago. She looking at camera like, oh, yeah, and I beat her. Um, I don't know how to say it without getting demonetized. I just beat a red rum. If you know what it means, you know what it means. I just beat a red rum charge and woo woo. Don't know people that really be doing criminal activity and real crimes come on TV announcing it. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Yeah. Yeah. What part, what part of Chicago are you from? And Miss Adriana? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fact check you girl. So anyways, we get to the closing like part of the episode and it is the new girl, Melanie Fox, KP and Ferragamo in the room. Apparently Ferragamo then gave the girl Melanie Fox a little shroom and now she's tweaking and paranoid. She in there just spazzing out on them. Like if y'all going to do something to me in my sleep and y'all just not, and they steady keep telling her it's no issue. It's no issue, but she keeps pressing the issue now. One thing that stood out to me in this scene here, Miss Melanie Fox, am I tweaking or was her bra a little too small? Because, like, how was the straps to her bra all the way on the back of her neck? Like, you need a bigger, more supportive bra for them big jugs, sister. Because ain't no way the snaps to the back of your bra should have been touching the back of your neck. You you worried about the wrong ish. You worried about who, who going to do something to you in your slip and you need to worry about going to lane Bryant or or something and get fitted for a better bra but anyways um 
it really was like she was trying to bully them. It was like she was really trying to on some book, like, yeah, because I'm really like that. And blah, blah, blah. And they was kind of just looking at her like, girl, what? Like, no one is even on that with you. So what are you talking about? And I guess because they weren't like matching that energy, like getting tough with her, she felt like, oh, yeah, I'm on my bully now. They ain't know nothing. Well, 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 you were in for a surprise because she tried to bully KP. And even though, you know, she did, you know, she's bigger, way bigger than KP. So she did win that round, but KP was not going. She defended herself. Now, on the next episode, we can see that it's going to be her and Ferragamo that's also going to get the tussling. And it just seems like on the next episode, Miss Melanie Fox is going to be a wow, out of control, wilder beast that they cannot control. So guess what they do, y'all? They say, we got the call in the reinforcements. Big Ivory, come get this. So I'm ready to see that, y'all. And it looked like Big Ivory balled her up on the next episode. Mm hmm. So yes, that was the end of the episode, you guys. I'm excited to see the next episode. If you guys would like me to keep recapping Young and the Reckless, please comment down below. If you would also like me to do South and Cubaddies, comment down below and let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for watching.